Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project safe and secure transaction using blockchain. Introduction. The project's primary goal is to bolster the security and scalability of the financial sector. Traditional banking with its centralized nature faces several key issues. It is vulnerable to security breaches and cyber attacks, risking sensitive financial data. Inefficiencies in these systems cause delays and increased costs. Single points of failure can disrupt the entire financial system. Geographic and administrative barriers limit access to many and transactions are often slow and lacking transparency. To address these challenges, we are implementing blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. Blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data is stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. And there are many types of blockchains such as Ethereum, Bitcoin, Stellar, Ripple, etc. Each has its unique features, governance models and target use cases. We are using Ethereum in this project. Ethereum goes beyond just recording transactions. It allows developers to create small computer programs called smart contracts. These smart contracts without the need for a centralized authority enable trusted transactions made between anonymous parties. Ethereum's strengths include its ability to create various decentralized applications and its active community of developers. It continuously improves its security and many other projects in the blockchain space work well with Ethereum. Object of the project So, as I mentioned earlier, this project aims to develop a dApp which means an application that operates on a decentralized blockchain network. This dApp will be responsible for managing financial transactions including account creation, deposits and transfers. Our project uses blockchain technology to break down geographical and administrative barriers that restrict many people from accessing financial services. With blockchain, anyone with an internet connection can access these services from anywhere in the world. And the project aims to leverage blockchain's cryptographic features to enhance the security of financial data and transactions. Cryptography ensures that data is securely encrypted and can only be accessed by authorized parties. This cryptographic security enhances trust in the system as users can be confident that their financial information is protected. And in this project, smart contracts will be employed to facilitate transaction processes. Smart contracts are contracts with predefined terms written directly into code. For instance, when a user initiates a transfer, a smart contract will manage the transfer without the involvement of a traditional intermediary such as a bank. This approach is expected to contribute to a reduction in fees and transaction delays often associated with intermediaries. Requirements needed to execute this project are Hardware requirements Processor of i5 and above RAM of 8 GB and above ROM of 25 GB and above. Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version. To execute this project, we have designed few modules. The first module is Signup. In the Signup module, users can securely create their accounts by providing personal information and the system records these details on the blockchain ensuring data integrity and user access. The second module is Login. Here, users access their accounts by providing login credentials and the system verifies their identity for secure account access relying on blockchain-backed authentication. The third module is Deposit Amount. In this module, users can add funds to their accounts with the system securely recording the deposit on the blockchain, allowing users to maintain balances for future transactions. The next module is Send Amount. This module enables users to send funds to other users or external accounts with blockchain verification ensuring secure and accurate peer-to-peer -peer transactions. And the last module is View Balance. Here, users can effortlessly check their account balances and the system retrieves this information directly from the blockchain, allowing users to monitor their financial activity with confidence. Blockchain Integration 
so blockchain is used to store user sign up details securely when users sign up for the application their information is recorded on the blockchain through the solidity smart contract this ensures the immutability and transparency of user data all financial transactions including deposits and transfers are recorded on the blockchain Solidity smart contract is responsible for storing these transaction details on the blockchain. This ensures that every transaction is permanently recorded and can be audited by users. And smart contracts are a fundamental component of blockchain technology. In this project a custom solidity smart contract is created to manage user accounts and financial transactions. Smart contracts execute transactions eliminating the need for intermediaries like traditional banks. Blockchain provides cryptographic security features to protect user data and transactions. Each transaction is cryptographically secured making it extremely difficult for unauthorized parties to tamper with the data. This enhances the security and trustworthiness of the application. Blockchain operates on a decentralized network of nodes. This decentralization reduces the risk of single points of failure and enhances the system's resilience. Users interact directly with the blockchain reducing the need for intermediaries. and every participant in the blockchain network can view the entire transaction history ensuring transparency users can verify their financial transactions enhancing trust and accountability and data stored on the blockchain is immutable meaning it cannot be altered or deleted once recorded this immutability ensures the integrity of user data and transaction records and data integrity is maintained in the system through the utilization of the sha256 algorithm that is secure hash algorithm 256 bit Each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code. These blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers. Before storing new records, blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. Execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is hello eth folder. Inside this folder I have a node modules folder. This folder consists of dependencies or modules needed for the project. Now open .bin folder. This folder often contains executable scripts related to the project's dependencies. So here we can see a run blockchain.bat file. Double click on it to start the blockchain. This script will initiate the local Ethereum blockchain for development purposes. It contains commands to start the blockchain environment. Now the blockchain is hosted on the local machine at the local host and port. This address allows us to interact with the blockchain using various tools and applications. Now execute the command truffle space migrate to compile and deploy the smart contracts. I'm typing truffle space migrate and hit the enter button. So truffle is a development framework for Ethereum that simplifies the process of compiling and deploying smart contracts. They are deployed on a blockchain network and can facilitate various transactions such as transferring tokens or managing digital assets. Once the migration process is complete, Truffle will provide us with a unique Ethereum contract address. So this is the address. This address represents the location of the deployed smart contract on the blockchain. And here we can see gas used to execute the solidity file and compile smart contracts. This is the amount of gas consumed. So now minimize this. This is blockchain bank folder. Inside this folder I have a bank folder. Inside this folder I have python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project during runtime. This is bank app folder. This folder comprises a static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. And bank app folder also contains a templates folder. Within this folder we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html and more representing various sections of the website. And it also contains python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application supporting its functionality. This is bank contract SQL file. This file consists of solidity code. It handles data structures, functions and events with modifiers for validation. This is manage.py file. It is a command line utility that comes with Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, applying migrations and more. And this is run.bat file. Instead of execu executing the project through command line interface, we have created windows bat file to execute the project. Now double click on it to start the Django application. 
so the django framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it type index.html at the end and hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using the django framework and here we can see login and sign up links if we are new users we have to register first click on sign up here link fill in all these details the username would be kumar give the password give the phone number give the email id give the address select the gender now click on register button so in the red color text we can see sign up process completed and record saved in blockchain we will create another account the username would be kiran give the password give the phone number the email id give the address select the gender and now click on register button so the details are been saved to blockchain now click on login here link first we login as kumar give the credentials username and password of kumar and click on login So we have logged in as Kumar and here we can see deposit amount send amount view balance and logout links click on deposit amount link so here we can see a amount deposit screen first we'll self deposit so the username is Kumar the amount is 1000 now click on submit button so in the red color text we can see money added to user account Kumar now click on view balance link so here we can see the balance screen we can see username amount transaction date transaction status that is self deposit and the current available balance in the account now click on send amount link so here we can see a transfer amount screen so the username is kumar the available balance is 1000 we have to select the receiver name from the drop down so the receiver name would be kumar and the amount is 500 now click on submit button So we can see money sent to Kiran. Now click on view balance link again. So here we can see the transaction status that is sent to Kiran and the amount is 500 and we can see the current available balance that is 500. And now click on log out link. Now we we'll log in as Kiran. Click on log in here link. Give the credentials, username and password of Kiran. And now click on log in. So we have logged in as Kiran and here we can see view balance screen view balance link click on it So here we can see the transaction status that that is received from Kumar and we can see the amount received and we can see the current balance available in the account Now click on log out So the conclusion here is the project successfully demonstrated how blockchain technology can enhance the security of the financial sector by reducing vulnerabilities associated with centralized servers. Blockchain's unique cryptographic codes such as hashing algorithms ensure that once financial data is recorded it cannot be altered or tampered with. This unalterability guarantees the integrity of financial records reducing the risk of fraud and disputes. By leveraging blockchain technology the project enhanced transaction privacy. The decentralized nature of blockchain reduces the need for extensive infrastructure and cryptographic measures enhance data security lowering operational costs and this groundwork paves the way for future development and expansion ensuring that the technology can accommodate growing user demands while maintaining security Thank you for watching video For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.